I think that God expects us to at least start the foundation of a heaven on earth. But that won't include science, universities, experts that are of this world. Because um, their idea of um, their ideas are, don't align with God's, don't align with Jesus's. Um, and they never have. Um, on this channel and on my Nurse Bethany channel, I've given many reasons how this is true. Um, especially being that I've been an, uh, a nurse for 11 years. So, um, but I do think that given the times that we're in and given that I guess Joe Biden signed in March executive order 14406 or 02, which buried in that executive order was about uh, taking us off cash, no more cash, digital, and it will be the social system that China has. It will be that they can shut your cash off if you do. I mean, I'm, I'm sure my bank account will be totally shut down as soon as um, they roll this out. Um, and I, I just want to mention this. I think that's why the rapture was so important to push because the rapture isn't true. But it, it keeps a lot of Christians thinking, oh, God's going to come and rapture. No. It's not that God uh, it doesn't want to save. It's just that it, there, that was a, a way to um, twist the Bible. God said, do not be deceived. Um, do not let yourself be deceived. Many come in my name. Um. A lot of people are uncovering how much seminary schools were involved in trafficking and just a lot of horrible stuff. But it, if you believe the Bible, then you know that um, that's, of course, where wickedness would get in. That's why it got into your universities from the beginning. Um, it, it's why you have hateful people there. It's got into your seminary schools. It was all to distort the Bible to keep you from... Um, having that personal relationship with God, most important thing you can do. I say it so many times because um, the Holy Spirit will come alive in you and you will know the answers that you don't know how you know, but you know they're true because the Holy Spirit never lies. Um, the Holy Spirit is your connection to Jesus Christ. Uh, it's really important. And so it's the reason why universities and science and experts and um, people that are of this world will do everything to take you away from that because that's that's your that's everything right there that's the that's everything um, you can't change this world but I do believe that given one's revelation revealing of truth and there's so much revealing of truth that's taken place every day more and more just because the mainstream media isn't reporting it it just it's just showing that they're tanking more and more um because once you know the truth you know it you you know what the truth is you hear it or you see it or you listen and you're like that makes total sense you know and especially you know if you have a relationship with god through the holy spirit um your universities and these places i mentioned so much you can pray for them, I pray for them, but it's likely they will stay on the path of their expertise and they will stay on the path that is the path of this world. And this world, to follow the experts of this world, you will go to hell. You will. Um, you will, because Jesus said, you are in this world, you are not of this world. But the people that go to the universities that are so obsessed with money, are so obsessed with that being right, so obsessed with their money, their fame, their glory, all of that, all those seven deadly sins, um, those are the people that are of this world. You don't want to be of this world because those are the treasures of this world. It doesn't mean money is bad, even though it does say the root of all evil is uh, money. It meant what money will do to people. And look at what it's done to our science. Our science wants so much control over us. Like, isn't everybody just tired of all the viruses? 
And it, it's like, it, it should be on full display, especially since Fauci isn't willing to be transparent and a court is now saying he has to be actually. Um, and, and isn't that disgusting? It is all these educated experts, high profile people that do, they don't wanna have to tell the truth. It's, it's quite disgusting. Um, but they are of this world. They, there are two paths here. There um, is a path to follow with universities, professors, experts, Fauci, your government, the UN. And that path is being on the path of being of this world. It's not a good path to be on. Um, this world, because wickedness runs it, as the Bible says, um, has done everything and has done a good job of it to create experts because um, they help destroy the Constitution. They help destroy professions where there's people that are, are good workers. They help uh, destroy uh, CEOs and men of great wealth. Um, they destroy science. Science could have went in a totally different direction, really, even though it started out uh, really with Rock, Rockefeller being a, just a snake oil salesman. Um, its roots started in wickedness, but it could have it could have done good. And it did with the antibiotics, but as I've said before, that put them on the map. Um, after that, it's just really been, here's a, a pill to fix you, but it never really does. It treats some symptoms, and then you just end up on more pills. At the end of the day, what that serves is pharma. So... Um, I think most people realize uh, the um, that that's the case. Um, so those people will stay on that path, and yet at the same time, even though we are in this world and we see what path they want to stay on, and we know that Biden's going to push orders to where they're going to suppress. They've been suppressing and removing accounts left and right. You don't have university law experts that are willing to do anything about that because they're not mature enough to know anything about the world they're living in. Um, so they're certainly not going to do the right thing. They do everything wrong while convincing themselves it's right. Um, the nursing uh, board of one of the states I've worked in, um, I got an email. I mean, it was like a mass email. And it was this... Oh, this whole, oh, now that we're grieving the, the, the Roe v. Wade case and the decision and, and the future that we're going to face with um, moving backwards. And it, it's so condescending and it's so fake. Um, these are people that believe they have empathy and yet they've just been mind controlled. I, 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 I know real empathy because I have it. Um, it doesn't make me an expert. It just makes me somebody that does care. There is plenty of people in many professions that want to tell you how much they care. And because they, oh, I'm so upset about the Roe v. Wade case, it, you, it's to make you think they care. They don't. In fact, they don't even have enough manners to realize that maybe there's, when they put emails, mass emails out like that on nursing board, um, to ever think about the people that weren't supportive of Roe v. Wade. They just automatically assume that every registered nurse in the country um, supports Roe v. Wade. I don't. Not when I found out what it was really about for the science and it had nothing to do with women's health. But to tell any of these uh, nurse experts, they won't listen. They cannot hear exactly the same way that the, when Jesus walked the earth, the leaders of the church and the leaders of uh, Rome could not hear. No matter how many miracles he did, it didn't matter. He, they were not willing to receive. And when you're not willing to receive, you won't hear. You won't hear from God. You won't have that connection, relationship with God through the Holy Spirit. Um, so I just think it's interesting because it's so easy to spot these fake and phony articles, just like your fake and phony professors who use all their jargon, as I, I mentioned this week, um, to convince people this is the right way to go. And really, if people really thought about what they're saying, they're just trying to destroy and unravel the Constitution. And they've done a really good job at that. Um, but that's the path you don't want to be on. 
and they are going to stay on that path and continue to tell themselves that they're glory and they're expert and they're they're so great because of their education but their education as i said came from satan that's where Satan would want to get in. That's where wickedness would want to get a hold of people, is in the universities, is in the seminary schools, is in government. All of it proves the Bible every single day. In fact, a local paper, and I posted this yesterday, but I don't know if people had, had saw this part, although I circled it. Um, this has non-detainable offenses under the Safety Act. The following crimes would become non-detainable offenses after the Safety Act goes into effect, meaning that criminals will be allowed to be charged with and released for these crimes without bail. Second degree murder, drug-induced homicide, arson, aggravated battery, kidnapping, burglary, robbery, intimidation, aggravated DUI, aggravated fleeing and eluding, drug offenses, threatening a public official. The Safety, Accountability, Fairness, and Equity Today Act includes several changes to many areas of the criminal justice system. So you see all of these lawyers and professors that think they've done so much to help the country, they've destroyed it. They're, they're a lot of the reason for this. There, think about it. This is just wanting to create more trauma and um, not uh, address criminals. We have a justice system and law professors in this country. They want to protect illegal immigrants. They want um, the most uh, the most biggest criminals that have uh, the strongest evidence against them to be walking among the innocent. These are people that, as I said, they were brought up and raised in Satan's synagogue. So, of course, that is what they are going to be about. So, the first thing to do is recognize none of these people are experts. And if we had the right leadership in place, no funding would go to the science anymore because of uh, the horrendous things they've been doing, nor any funding to the universities. But at least acknowledging that is a good place because I think it's important to um, recognize the foundation we do need for a, 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 a happy world. And what we don't need is universities. We don't. We don't need science. We don't. We have more problems because of it. Um, we don't um, need uh, religions, need the Bible, but the, the, the journey with um, walking with God, with Jesus, was supposed to be a personal one. There's nothing wrong with gathering together in worship and all of that. But this world has taught everybody it's all these different religions. It's why it's confused everyone. It's why it says there's going to be a rapture and there's not. Um, first of all, it's not realistic either. And, and that kind of stuff is what makes the Bible look um, like it's nonsense because people twist it that way. Um, and there's a lot of people I've tried to tell. I mean, like, there's not, there, there won't be. It's it's wrong teaching. It's most of it. Most of the teaching, at least as far as the end, the end of days. It's not end of days. It's uh for for everyone. It's end of days for the wicked. That's what it is. It's the end of the um the oppression. But I think before that end comes completely, it, it takes um the people that do walk with Jesus. Um, to, to, to stand up and speak up, which is why I've been doing it. But also because um, pointing these things out are all the things to know that we do not need in God's kingdom. As God said, this is not my kingdom. If this was his kingdom, they wouldn't have put his son to death. He was an innocent man. And you see how quickly your universities, your, they are all on the same side. The UN, the government, goes after innocent people. Trump. They all hate him, which tells you everything you need to know about them. But um, having an act like this, do you see? This is what hypocrites they are. This was the Safety, Accountability, Fairness, and Equity Today Act. These are such lost people, and there's really nothing you can do because. They can't step outside the box. Um, nursing is such a joke. 
It really is. It's all political science. It's not real science. We're doing anything. Um, but the science won't, has not even told the truth about al um, alcoholics. They're turning it. I listened to this podcast with a nurse expert, another expert, so many damn experts. But um, talking about this today and, and here, let me just I'll play a brief uh, audio of it. And, and she doesn't know it, anything, but this is what happens. They want to, what science likes to do is to confuse things. Um, th science didn't even acknowledge alcoholism as a problem until the 50s. Um, Dr. Bob and Bill Wilson had figured it out back in the late 30s, early 40s. They figured out what the condition of the alcoholic was and the treatment. The science has never, and that's why your mental health professionals don't know, they will never acknowledge that because if they do, they have to talk about the condition. And the condition is, it's a spiritual malady. It's a possession, really. It, it, it really is because, I mean, I think anybody who's ever had a, um, a drug or alcohol problem, and it's all the same, science likes to separate it and say, well, this is different. No, it's not different. I'm a recovering alcoholic. I've been around so many people that um, for close to 30 years uh, that came in and got sober, the people that were old timer. I, I know every in and out of addiction, and, and the science lies about it. They do. What they really do is just like they're doing with psychiatry science. They're going back to the 50s of let's do electric shock therapy. Um, but they're doing this with recovery stuff too. Like they want to, they don't think you, we should use the term alcoholism anymore. The World Health Organization, they're in the UN. They're, they're, they're just criminals too. Um, you know what uh, we say in Alcoholics Anonymous about the word alcoholism? It's kind of important. That ISM part of alcoholism, we say is I, self, me, because that's what the alcoholic is. It's all, when they're active and they're drinking, it's all about me, 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 me. Very much like our professors in this country, our universities, our government, me, 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 me. It's all about them, all about the science. The science wants to be right. So the science, um, even though they say, and this nurse had said it, um, that AA has been responsible for the recovery of millions upon millions. Yes, and she said it, and I know it. I've said it in so many videos. But instead of the science, they want to say, oh, there's not evidence. No, it's evidence you don't want to look at because instead of being um, aligned with God, you're in opposition to God, which is why the science has not done anything yet wants to say these are cures and they're not. That's um, on full display now. Well, not for any of your experts, no. Because, again, it's about stepping outside the box. But here is a little bit about uh, what... Moderate. And from his clinical standpoint, the, uh, the AMA recognized alcoholism as a disease in as early as 1956. Um, and then the early DSM versions, DSM-1 and 2, did use the term alcoholism. And actually it was classified as a personality disorder. So this, this is interesting because uh, one of the things I did notice when I did my psych rotation in nursing school was that reading up on the personality disorders, and this is why I think they're hogwash, is that um, they do resemble um, somebody that's active in their drinking or a a addiction. They very, the, the person active in their addiction is very much... Uh, resembles one of the personality disorders, borderline narcissist. It's interesting, uh, narcissism has been removed from the DSM, and yet that's what we have the most in the world. What does that tell you about the science of psychiatry? Hmm? But the DSM, it's the Diagnostic Manual for Mental Health. It's what they use to diagnose people. It's, it's a stupid book. Um, it's a stupid book just filled with a bunch of problems that have no solutions. But that's what our science is. It doesn't have solutions. Uh, people can say this is a solution. We know it's not um, any of them, really. Um, but um, solutions are actually cures. When they haven't never come up with any cures. Uh, but we do, because of the science, have more disease and illness. So, um, especially in psychiatry, them wanting to go backwards, and this whole, um, what she's talking about with it resembling personality disorders, um, the person active in their addiction, that's absolutely true. But I've been saying that for a while. But see, I'm not, I'm not considered an expert. I'm not, I'm, I'm just an RN, and you know what? I didn't even get my bachelor's, so I'm just like, you don't know anything. Okay, well... 
I do know the ways of the world. Um, I, I, so I have, I have, I, at least I will say I have some wisdom. Only because of the grace of God, not because of this world. This world will not give you wisdom. It will not give you a moral compass, nor will it give you the knowledge you need to know. Only God Almighty will. But this podcast I listened to, and this was recent because they just sent it, or it just came out today. It was in some nursing world. or, But this woman did all this research. On, it, it's like an alcohol, an addiction, and yet talks about how some of the studies the science did was um, in research. They did this whole like study of stigmatism with neighbors and how they'd feel about having neighbors that were opiate addicts. It's like, that's what your money is going to. That's why there should be no more funding. I mean, there's so many things I've highlighted more on my other channel, Nurse Bethany, but so many things I've highlighted for why the science should not receive any more of our tax dollars. It's ridiculous to do it. But see, and, and, and the whole medical profession has moved into political science. And it shocks me that none of them recognize there's a difference between science and political science. But everybody's just going along with it. And I hear it in this, in this, um, this audio, this woman talking about AA, she doesn't, un or not AA, about alcoholism. She doesn't understand any of it. The DSMs decided to make it into this interval thing. Like, um, maybe you're a full-blown alcoholic or medium alcoholic or not an alcoholic based on their criteria. That's BS. You're either an alcoholic or you're not. This is coming from somebody who's a recovering alcoholic for close to 30 years. So, um, stop it. Stop it. They don't, the science doesn't want to go to the experts, which were your people in AA. Dr. Bob and Bill W. had this all figured out because they, they would have to say that God is the cure because that is who it is. But as long as they ignore that and, and they don't promote that, then they keep the public powerless. They keep uh, opiate addicts on Subutex or Suboxone, and these are synthetics of opiates, but it never addresses the true problem the condition of the alcoholic or the addict. doesn't matter if they're an addict or an alcoholic. It's all the same thing. It's the thinking. Um, the pills aren't going to fix that, but it serves to keep a bunch of people powerless as uh, this system wants. And it, it keeps people uh, just having to feed pharma more and more in the science. So we need to stop feeding the beast science. We need to stop feeding the universities. Um, uh, money and all of that. Um, I think that's why they're especially afraid of Trump getting back in because I think Trump would stop all funding to all of these. Or And then maybe some of their philanthropy groups would pay for their stuff. But really, I think that some of them are going to have committed some crimes, um, if you know who I'm talking about, some of them. Anybody who's awake anyway. Um, but you don't want to be of this world. If, if you notice, the people that are of this world are your professors, are your science, are your corrupt science, your corrupt... I, I, there's some corruption to all of these industries. And yet then you have these fake people that think that they have empathy and care. And yet they didn't have enough, like about the nursing uh, from somebody in a state uh, nursing board saying how everybody's all upset, never having enough um, class, courtesy, or empathy to think about all the people that maybe didn't support Roe v. Wade. It's just an automatic assumption that if you're a nurse, you supported Roe v. Wade. So that's not somebody that has empathy, but they're good at telling you they do. They're good at putting on an act that they do care. Um, so stay away from all of those people and just realize, I think that God's trying to get us to at least see all the problems around us that uh, stand in the way of having a truly happy, free, and uh, righteous uh, world. And it's your universities, your science, um, your corrupted government, um, all of it. That is what stands in the way of the American dream and heaven on earth.